from HBO Max. Oh, did everybody get the email yesterday? I got the email. Isaiah, did you get the email? I ain't got the max. Oh, you didn't get, yeah. That's because you probably never subscribed. Yep. Isaiah is maxed not. out. Uh-huh. Uh, but uh, see if this all changes your mind, Isaiah, about the whole HBO Max situation. Because if you missed it, the announcement was that uh, we now have a date for when HBO Max will cease to exist and Max will come into being, which will be a combo of all the stuff that was already on HBO Max that they haven't gotten rid of and <laughs> Discovery Plus, and they're yeah. putting it all together and still, for now, charging the same price, which was a uh, something that I was happy to see. Uh, and they've also, as part of the announcement, announced all kinds of new stuff that they're going to be bringing to HB. Or, oh, no, that's I'm why sorry. they were announcing all the shows. Yeah, it was all a combined thing. Uh, but, yeah, so all the stuff that's coming to Max. I believe the date was May 23rd is when that will be. I know it was in May, uh, but I don't have it right here in front of me. But here, let me uh, go through some of the new stuff and see if it convinces you that uh, Max might be for you coming up next month. Uh, first of all, the big, the big one, Harry Potter. Oh, the TV doing a show. series. Yeah. yeah. And this is a big undertaking. They say that uh, they called it a decade long series, which will cover one book per season. Mm. That's a wow. big commitment. That's a large, large amount. That sounds like the Lord of the Rings stuff on Amazon, mm-hmm. where they're just, they're doing it no matter whether people enjoy it or not. Meaning, like, they'll, they're planning to be doing the TV show in the long run. Yeah, that's right. And uh, no low ratings will stop them. Uh, so that's that. They also, uh, and I think it's important to point out, too, that J.K. Rowling is involved. Uh, she will be definitely, it sounds like, very involved in the making of that show. Okay. Also, Game of Thrones spinoff. Another one. Another one. Another prequel that's set... 100 years before the actual Game of Thrones. It's called... Oh, that was House of Dragon. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute. How, mm. how early are we going now? Yeah, we're going... Farther, farther, Nikki, uh-huh. farther. <laughs> There's no limit to how far in the past they can go. It's like before the dragons were even there. Yeah, this one is called A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms, The Hedge Knight. If a name like that doesn't draw you in, I don't know what will. The Hedge Knight. The Hedge Knight. It's going to be great. They also announced a spinoff of The Big Bang Theory, which they haven't... They won't tell anything else about that. So maybe old Sheldon, perhaps. Older. <laughs> Older. Middle-aged Sheldon. We Yo- can't be sure. Younger Sheldon. Mm-hmm. Baby oh, Sheldon. The young Sheldon. Baby Sheldon. Baby, Baby Sheldon. Sheldon's parents before he was born. I don't know. Uh, the, and I mean, that's just scratching the surface. They did put out, and I haven't gotten to watch it yet. They have a trailer for the Penguin show, at, and that's Penguin-like. Penguin from the Batman. Oh, sure. The Colin Farrell Thanks Penguin. Thanks for saying that, because I for one minute I was like, oh, great. Yeah. Some Penguin sort of show. Documentary. You're interested. What are we doing? Some Discovery Plus whatnot. <laughs> All right. Yeah. No, yeah. The, that, is, uh, uh, that is probably the top interest to me is what that Penguin show will be, because Colin Farrell as the Penguin in the Batman movie last year. Would be good. That was excellent. So they also said for Max, uh, they'll be doing some new stuff with True Detective, if you remember that. Yeah. Um, Night Country, uh, The Gremlins, and yes, The Penguin well, those, Show. Those, those ones are all, they're all wise. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Nobody knows those ones. I, 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 don't, I don't know about the Gremlins animated series. Yeah. That was questionable. But Although I love the it. movie. Uh, so have we... Have we convinced you? Me personally? Yeah. No. Have um, we convinced your parents? I don't think so. None of that <laughs> jazz roommate, sounded too. Your ex girlfriend. No, none of that stuff sounded super thrilling to me. You love I, Harry Potter. What I love Harry about? Potter. I watched a bunch of Harry Potter movies over the weekend. I know that the new Harry Potter, I'm going to hate it just because of the remake, and it doesn't matter like what they do. It Everybody be great. always messes it up. Yeah, there's going to be like a new Harry Potter kid who's like nine years old. I'm going to hate him, and uh, <laughs> and he can't do anything about it. There's no way. Uh, the Game of Thrones stuff, I've never seen Game of Thrones, but I know there's lots of people that love Game of Thrones, yeah. so that'll be really exciting for them, and they just want as much content as possible. And then the Big Bang Theory. I like the show, but not enough to buy HBO Max. (laughs) Hey, Max, I don't think you would have gotten him anyways. Yeah, (laughs) no matter what they announced. But uh, I'm I'm excited just to have the option to have the Discovery Plus stuff. Although I imagine if you're a Discovery Plus person, you don't really care about the... If if you only had that, you're not like, ooh, succession now. Mm -hmm. I don't think that really uh, is going to do much for you. But for me, 
Some of the Discovery Plus stuff, I'll be interested to throw in that who garbage. Has, who has Discovery Plus? That's my I question. Do. Nick, I you have Discovery it. Plus. I do, and I love it. I watch it. It's Jeez, awful. Nikki, you have too much free time. I don't know how you're <laughs> squeezing in all these to be able to justify that. It's not. I just don't watch anything else. I mean, how can you not be excited about House Hunters? Come I mean, I, yes, you're right. I forgot. <laughs> I watch that too. Uh, so all the midday TV shows that I used to watch when I was younger, all on Discovery That's, Plus. It's garbage TV. It's like, I'll throw this on and not really pay attention. It'll be great. But it's so bad because, like, Garbage TV makes you seem like, well, my life is okay now. Yeah. <laughs> All of a sudden. Yeah, it's not too bad. Thanks for watching the worst of the riot. Since you made it this far, you might as well like, subscribe, and check out riot.radiou.com for even more, more riot. riot.